Hey guys, uh, we're going to do another Tekken tutorial. Uh, this episode we're going to be focusing on alternate sources of power for industrial craft machines. Yep, so as you can see we've built some different things around the house, like that shelf and the columns here. That's from uh, the Red Power mod, and we promise we'll get a video on it soon. Yeah, so as you can see, this is our uh, little upgraded home, and we've made a little hole in the roof there. And uh, we're going to be making some solar panels uh, for that, but first we're going to be showing you some different things. Yep. Uh, so first up, we're going to make uh, a craft crafting table too. It's pretty useful if you, if you forget a recipe, um, basically make, make it from the items you have in your inventory. You'll see that in a second now. Yeah, so any item that you have in your inventory uh, can be put to make any item that shows up in this. Yeah, if so uh, if you have the resources, it'll show up in this little thing and it'll show you some information about it as well. Yep, and I'll tell you the items required as well. Yeah, I won't tell you a recipe, but it'll tell you the items that are required for it. And you can just click on it to get it. Yeah, so as you can see, we're just going to show an example here. The rubber boots showed up because we got some rubber and a wool. And we'll show you how to make those in a second. Yeah. So these are pretty useful, especially if you plan on jumping around and if you leave around the mountain, because they'll reduce fall damage up to 11 blocks. Yeah, so if you're past 11 blocks, they won't help you, uh, but they'll take the damage instead of you for most falling that you'll be doing. Yeah. Uh, so there's a few things in my inventory that, uh, that we're going to be showing you how to make. Some insulated gold cables, some MFEs and different things, but we'll show you those in a second. Yeah. So this, this is a recipe for the uh, rubber boots. Yeah, so here it's just the six rubber and one wool. And as you can see, I've already got some on, because they are very useful. They're much better than regular boots. Yep. Um, so right now we're going to jump to tin um, cable. And yep. some gold cable as well. Yep. So tin cable doesn't need to be insulated, because the voltage um, and the shock that I'll give you is near not enough to kill you or anything. Yeah, and it only supports two EUT. Uh, gold cable uh, needs to be jacketed or uh, insulated and it supports up to 128 EUT. Yeah. So for our purposes in this video we'll have to um, double jacket it, jacket it so you just do it by adding more um, rubber to the insulated one. Yeah, so uh, gold cable isn't insulated the normal way, you just throw it in the, in the crafting table with some rubber and uh, you can just double insulate it there. Uh, what we're going to be making here is called a bat box. Yeah. So a bat box is a storage device, um, very much like a battery, but it's a block. It stays in one place unless you take it somewhere. Uh, yeah, you can wire different uh, power sources up to it, which we'll be making in a little bit. And this one hoard holds up to 40,000 EUT, which is the power source. Yeah, so it's definitely useful if you don't want your energy to get wasted in the the machine. Yeah, so what we're making here is called a low voltage transformer. It allows you to transform low voltage into medium voltage or medium voltage back into low. Yeah, so if you're using an MFB, it, uh, it requires um, medium voltage, but your machines require um, low voltage, so transform, the, transform it so you, your machines can use it. Yeah, so what you can do is you can put coal into a macerator to make coal dust. And uh, you're going to need a generator, three glass, and two electronic circuits. This is going to allow you to build a um, solar panel. So solar panels, they get their energy from the sun, obviously. They, do not, they will not gather any energy at night. And yeah, if you don't have, um, if it gets covered in snow, it also won't get energy. And you want to have it in a clear space, not in, the, in a forest or something like that. Yeah, so that's why we have it on a little hill above our base. And that's why we've created that hole there, so that we can put the uh, solar panels on the roof and we'll wire them down into the, uh, into the cave here. Yeah. So this right now is... Uh, energy crystals. Yeah. So they act just as batteries, but even more, they store even more energy. Yeah, so they work uh, as batteries, but they store much, much, much more energy. And if you put four energy crystals in here, with um, a machine block in the center, and some copper cable, uh, you'll be able to make an MFE. An MFE is basically a bat box, but so much more capacity. It'll hold up to 600,000 uh, EUT, so you won't be running out of energy unless you plan to do something really expensive. Yeah, so something about the gold cable that I forgot to mention, you won't actually need it unless you're planning on using the, uh, the MFE. Uh, the MFE outputs at 128 EUT, which is just an amount of current or voltage that you can say. 
And uh, basically it's too high for the copper cable, so that's why you'll need the gold cable. Uh, up here we're going to be setting up our, our bat box here. And something good to point out is the direction that the bat box is inputting or outputting. So all of the faces, except for one, are uh, input faces. And as you can see, there's like a little dot on the side that uh, the output face is at. To change the, uh, the output face, you just have to right click it with a wrench. Uh, so make sure you know, you're facing that side and just right click it. Yeah, something good to note uh, as well is that if you're crouching, if you're holding shift, uh, and you click on it, it'll go to the opposite side that you're looking at. So that's good if you're trying to get in spaces that you can't access. Yeah. So this right here is just a teen, uh cable. We're just placing it down. Uh, yeah, we're going to be putting solar panels all around it. This is a pretty good setup. Uh, you used to make solar pa uh, flowers, but this is a really much more efficient setup since uh, new industrial craft updates. Yep, so um, they will all gather energy and send it through the tin cable into the bat box. Yeah, and because the bat box inputs at anything up to 32 EUT, uh, you should be able to get a good amount of power from these solar panels. And the reason we have a bat box and an MFE is because during the night your bat box is going to be able to run out of charge and it'll just be able to go into the MFE and that's going to be good storage for when you're running things overnight. Also the MFE stores a lot more so even if your bat box gets filled it will send all the power to the MFE being able to hold more power. As you can see our bat box is filling up with power because it's daytime and uh, it's almost full actually because that's how small the amount of storage is in there. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be using gold cable to bring down, but uh, we'll go downstairs and go down up. Yeah. Uh, the reason we're using gold is because we're actually going to make another MFE to replace the bat box that's there. But we're not actually going to show that, we're just going to make that a bit later when we have the resources. Yeah, uh, one thing to note is that you can also um, recharge batteries from the bat box. So if you ever want to recharge your batteries, you can do it from there. Yeah, and the same goes for an MFE. As well, you can put batteries inside the solar panels, but we don't suggest doing that, only because it's really slow and it's not very helpful. Yeah. So this is the hole we made, and it will connect all the way to the bat box on the top, and bring the power down to our machines. Yeah, so uh, we're going to be using the gold cable again, because we're going to be using a, uh, another MFE instead of the bat box. So right now the bat box outputs at 32, and copper cable can support that. So if you're just, you know, if you can only afford a bat box, we suggest you, you know, actually using the uh, just regular copper cable instead. But if you're preparing to have more storage on the top and the bottom, you, you can use uh, gold cable. Yeah, and uh, one thing to note, if you use your MFE, you'll need to use some low voltage transformer. Yeah, so that's why we made the low voltage transformer, because we're going to be putting an MFE at the bottom here, and then we're going to use the transform transformer so we can power our different machines. Yeah. With this setup, our, our machines will be completely coal free, so it's very efficient. Uh, yeah, and in another video, we'll show you what you can do with that coal. We'll be making some industrial diamonds. Yeah, so we're just getting it set up to hook it up to the machines. And here you go, the MFE is filling up. And as you can see, it's a lot slower than the bat box because it's it holds much, much more. Yeah, it's filling at the same rate, it's just a, a bigger scale. Something good to point out here is I'm crouching. So I'll show you in third person in a sec, uh, right here. And I'm going to crouch down so that we can, uh, we can actually make the face, the three-pronged face, go to the other side. So that's going to be, I'm going to click it while I'm, while I'm holding shift so that the side that the three prongs are on goes towards the MFE. Now that'll take in 128 EUT and bring it down to 32, which your machines can hopefully hold. Yep. And you can use uh, copper cable from now on. And yeah, once you've transformed into low voltage, feel free to use your copper cable. One thing we forgot to mention is that all the generators and stuff, the recipes, we, uh, we showed them on the first video, so refer back to that one. Yeah, so if you don't know how to make the circuits or the generators, we have all of that on our first video. So that's the part one. Yep. So now I just hook it up with a copper cable to the machines, and they'll be up and running. Yeah, and uh, we've actually had no problem with this. We filled up two MFEs just over, you know, a night or so, and we really don't have to worry about power ever again just for these basic machines. Yeah. The MFE will have enough power for to support what we do in the next video, which is industrial diamonds. 
for more advanced stuff, you will want to have uh, a bigger storage devi um, device, but we don't need it right now. Yeah, so this is this is how we've set it up. We've got all our machines here, and they're up and running, and we can run all of them at the same time. Yep. So now we're going to uh, make a geothermal ge uh, generator. Uh, you're going to need some empty cells, which require you to put four tin in a certain position like this. Uh, you take the empty cells, and you can take a generator and refined iron to make a geothermal generator. Yep. So a geothermal generator, we basically use lava to get power. Yeah, so if you have a volcano in your backyard, like we do, or if you're close to a large lava lake, they'll be useful. Other than that, we don't really suggest using them. Yeah, it's not really renewable, but lava is pretty common, so... Yeah, so if, if again, if you're near a volcano, it's a really great way of doing it. Yep. Um, so basically, the, the way that you do it is you... Um, get lava with buckets or pump, pumped with a uh, Bellcraft uh, setup. Yeah, and as you can see, we're going over to our uh, volcano here. We've made a little little spot in here where we've, as you can see, we've pumped our lava from the inside of the volcano into these little uh, storage devices here. Yeah, we've pumped it used to, using the Bellcraft method, uh, which we showed in the past video. It works the same way as pumping oil. Yeah, so pumping lava is just the same. As you can see, we've taken a lava bucket and filled it in here. And we're just going to place an MFE down to show you that it's filling up with power. So lava does um, input a lot of power. And uh, a volcano will have a large reserve at the bottom, so it will give you a ton of power. Yeah, so as you can see over here, we're going to show you that uh, you can use a build craft setup instead of uh, buckets. And I believe, we're pretty sure, as of TechIt 2.0, you're actually able to really pump the lava directly into the uh, geothermal generators. Yeah. That's what it says on the wiki anyway. Yeah, before you wouldn't be able to pump it from the tanks into um, a generator. It wouldn't work, but apparently now it does. Yeah, so being able to pump the, uh, the lava in instead of using buckets uh, makes it a much more economical way of getting power. Yeah. Obviously, this video is before the... Um the latest update, but the next one should be with the new update for TechIt. Yeah, so we actually have another video that we're going to show you how to install TechIt 2.0, and hopefully you guys will be able to follow along. So like I said, it's filling up with power, and uh, we've set up here. Yeah, so these are uh, just two sources of power that we're showing you. Uh, there are two more that we're going to show you back at the base, but they're sort of less useful. And another one is nuclear power. Uh, we're going to be doing some more advanced tutorials on that, and we're probably going to have videos just for nuclear power in the future. Yeah, we're going to have at least a couple of those, and there's also um, biofuels, but we'll have that much later on as well. Yeah, so here is the windmill and the water mill. Uh, their water mill needs to be sort of, um, surrounded with water, and a windmill needs to be higher in the air. So the higher in the air it is, the more power it makes, and the water, the more water that's surrounding it. Uh, the more generate, yeah. power generates. We don't actually recommend using this on the, unless you're your only um, source. Yeah, because honestly, solar power is so much more useful than these. Yeah, and these they're don't, very slow. These don't even make up um, for uh, solar uh, power. Yeah, they're not even close to it. Uh, so thanks very much. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll be making more videos. Uh, we're going to be doing an installation video pretty soon. And uh, that's it.